In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to delete your hosting of VPS in just five minutes. Whether you're moving on to a different hosting service or simply no longer need your current setup, this guide will walk you through the process step by step to ensure everything goes smoothly. First things first, we need to navigate to the Hostinger website. Open up your preferred web browser and type in the URL for Hostinger. Once you're on the main page, your next task is to locate the login button, typically found at the top right corner of your screen. Click on it and you'll be prompted to enter your account credentials. Ensure that you have your email and password at hand for a seamless login process. Once logged in, you'll find yourself on the Hostinger dashboard. This is your central hub for managing all things related to your account and its services. Here, look for the Home option in the navigation menu. Click on it to proceed. This will take you to a comprehensive overview of your Hostinger account, including your active services and any other relevant information. Next, you need to access your billing details. From the Home section, direct your attention to the navigation menu once more and find the Billing option. Clicking on this will direct you to your billing management area, which contains all the necessary details regarding your subscriptions and payment information. Once you are in the billing section, look for the subscriptions panel. Here you will find a list of your active subscriptions, including your VPS or virtual private server. This area is where you'll manage all your purchase services with Hostinger. Make sure to locate the specific VPS subscription you wish to delete. Now before going ahead with the deletion, it's crucial to double check that you have backed up any necessary data. Deleting a VPS is a permanent action and may result in the loss of all data stored on that server. Once you're sure everything important has been safely backed up, you can proceed with the deletion. In the subscriptions area, you should see an option to cancel or delete your subscription. Clicking on this will trigger a confirmation prompt to ensure you really mean to go through with the process. Review the information presented and, if you're certain, confirm your decision to delete the VPS. It might take a few moments for the system to process your request, but once complete, you'll receive confirmation that your VPS has been successfully deleted. This effectively concludes your VPS management journey with Hostinger, and you're now free to explore other hosting solutions or save on subscription costs. And that's it. You've successfully deleted your Hostinger VPS in a few simple steps. Be sure to check out other videos and resources for more tips and guides on managing your online services. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.